The Community Blood Center is unveiling its new state-of-the-art blood mobile today. Our Emily Byer joins us live in Appleton. She's getting a sneak peek ahead of their ribbon cutting today. Good morning, Em. Hey, good morning, Brooke. Hello, everyone. So we have moved inside. You guys, this if you've ever donated blood in one of these mobiles, this this is huge. This is incredibly, like, uh, we're joined by Christine again. You were kind of described it as cozy. That was quite nice. <laughs> but this is like, I mean, this is like luxury being in this mobile. Tell us about some of the differences that you guys have in here. Well, the first thing donors are going to see is that it is much taller. You know, tall, tall folks in some of our older vehicles would have to duck their heads so they wouldn't hit. Um, it, it's going to take a pretty tall person, like a, an NBA basketball player, <laughs> to have to duck their head in here. And uh, it's a lot wider. So people aren't going to have to worry about brushing up against other people. Sure. and um, it's just going to be a, a lot more convenient, a lot more comfortable. Definitely. And right now, so some of the workers with the Community Blood Center are here. They're getting ready for that blood drive that's going to happen a little bit later here today. Um, we're just watching them move around and work, and we were I was a little surprised that I wasn't in anyone's way, you know? <laughs> so there's just a lot of space to work. There is, and I think that's one of the things that our staff are going to really enjoy about it is that there is a lot of room to work, and, and I think donors will be a lot more comfortable too because you, always, you never want to be in someone's oh, way. Yeah. So it, it's going to just be a lot more comfortable. And, and the other thing that we've put up in this bus is, are the stories and the, and the people who've received blood, which is a great reminder to people uh, why, why they're doing this. Definitely. I know there's a photo of Emmy up in the front again, and we get to see her, her beautiful twin daughters as well. And, and there's a couple different facts that are kind of uh, – you know, put throughout the bus as well for people to learn a little bit more about blood donation. But we were talking a little earlier about how even just the layout of this, how you guys were able to get feedback from staff. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the overall design had staff input from the get-go. And when the bus actually came here, we had staff get involved and figure out how they were going to use the space and, and designed where they wanted everything. So, you know, I'm, I'm not going to say everything's going to be super smooth this morning, right. but, you know, it still is a new vehicle, at, but, but it's going to be very convenient. And, and staff really had a lot of input in how that worked. Definitely, and hopefully very, very functional. So that's great. So thank you so much, Christine. You guys, uh, we're going to get on the road here. So we're going to, um, our next hit, we're going to be able to show you guys, this is going to be us moving on the road. This is the whole reason why they have this, so they can the mobile can come to you, so people can donate blood. So I'm excited to show you guys all that. We'll have more coming up for now, reporting live in Appleton. Emily Byer, NBC 26.